Off the top at 11 this weekend, the annual Field of Flight Air Show and Balloon Festival is returning to Battle Creek. And as the show kicks off, the question tonight, could the poor air quality have an impact? News 8's Demetrius Sanders spoke with a pilot and a field of flight leadership about the smoky conditions. He has this story. This weekend, tens of thousands of people are expected at the Battle Creek Executive Airport for field of flight. The six-day event filled with all sorts of activities. Air show balloons, entertainment, the carnival, the motorcycle stunt team, the circus, and the kites. One of the biggest attractions of the weekend, the United States Navy's FA-18 Super Hornet Rhino demo team. Is hopefully if the weather cooperates, uh, we'll get to see the full profile, uh, seeing all the tactical capabilities, the maneuvering capabilities, the F-18 Super Hornet. Uh, and then also, once we're done with the show, uh, getting a chance for us to get out and talk to the crowd. As the event grounds open, the cloud of smoke continues to cover West Michigan. The executive director of Field of Flight says it shouldn't impact the show as a whole, but flight crews say they will take it into account. So that can affect basically you know, how much visibility we have over the airfield and the surrounding area, and that can sometimes restrict our performance, but uh, it restricts our performance mostly like with vertical maneuvering. We can still give everybody a heck of a show. Uh, Some people in attendance also said the air quality doesn't impact their excitement for the event. Yeah, the smoke doesn't really bother me. I mean, yesterday it was a little bit worse just because it felt heavier, but today I don't notice it at all. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm excited to be here, so I don't really care about it. And festival leaders shared similar thoughts. Well, at the end of the day, let's go. We're out here to have fun. Let's get the show on the road. Field of Flight ends on July 4th. The air show starts Saturday at noon. In Battle Creek, Demetria Sanders, News 8.